All right, here we go. Question number 10 from our college algebra homework number four on my math lab. They want us to graph the piecewise function given here. And we don't actually have to graph it by hand. We just have to choose the correct graph. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the quick version, and then I'm going to give a more detailed how-to. How Let's get started. First of all, we notice that the top piece of the function is linear. We know that because, uh, remember, g of x, f of x, g of x, whatever, means y. So this says y equals negative x plus 3 for the first piece. And that's the same as y equals mx plus b. That's a linear where we can see that our slope is negative. And so we know that for the first piece of the graph, we're going to have a line that's going down. Okay. Now that's for every x less than or equal to 3. Less than or equal to means that that line has to end in a solid dot. And so if we go over here and look at our answer choices, we can see that every graph for the left piece is going down, but only answer choice B and C end in a solid dot. So that means that at this point, we're limited to answers B and C because A and D end in an open circle. All right, next thing I notice is that the middle piece of this function has strictly less than on each end. So that means that whatever the middle piece is, it has to be open circles on both ends. Now 9 is a constant, which means that this piece of the graph is going to be horizontal, like that. And we're looking for horizontal that ends with circles on both ends. And we can see that that's answer choice B. Okay, so we're going to check answer. Bam, and that was too easy. All right, so what I'd like to do also is show you how you can use Desmos to graph a piecewise function. And then we will check and see if it looks exactly like this correct graph. All right, here we go. To use Desmos, we're going to say G of X equals, we're going to type in the top piece of the function, which was negative x uh, plus 3. And then to do the restriction, the x is less than or equal to negative 3, in our Desmos keyboard, we're going to click on the ABC button and choose the braces. And then we're going to say x is less than or equal to negative 3 enter and if I change my window back to a standard window we can see that that does give me a line going down if I click and drag we can see that that does end in a solid dot okay next piece we can say g of x equals the middle function was 9 and then remember to do the restriction we need to grab our braces and we're going to say negative 3 less than x less than 1. Enter. And then there's our middle piece. And if I click and drag, look at that open circle, open circle. So that verifies that we have an open circle on each end of this line. And for the last piece, we're going to say g of x equals one sixteenth x to the third and again for our restriction we're going to say x is greater than or equal to one and there's the last piece again showing that that ends in a solid dot so if we compare this desmos graph to the one that we clicked on we can see that those do look identical and they had the uh, appropriate starting and stopping points there. So open, and cir open circles and solid dots. All right, so there's that problem. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or you can text me if you'd like. And thanks for watching.